Well, hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in the channel, Farm Life with Nancy. So today, I'm at the farm. I know, the last couple of videos were at the off-grid property, and yeah, so today it's cleaning water stock tanks. Um, we should probably mow the grass. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do around the house. And then, oh, Muffin heard me. So anyway, so the chores today is stock tank cleaning. It's a must. And then I need to get uh, Derek. I heard him with the tractor. I started running after him. So I need his hand with one of the gates. I couldn't open it for some reason. Something is stuck. Anyways, I am needing in his assistance. So I'm going to go get a hold of him. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll get uh, the day started with that. But before we move on. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit me with a comment. I want to hear from everyone. All right, so let's go find Derek. was fun so I'm sure you've seen from previous videos the ones that's been following me since the beginning is that I'm always the one walking Derek's always the one on the tractor you know doing the jobs but I'm always the one walking and I always make the joke I need a side by side I need something to get me around faster but no I just keep walking I do enjoy walking I actually go on my treadmill and I do take walks down the road I I actually really enjoy walking so anyways but that ride was fun because I've jumped in the back of that Yanmar and you keep hitting your head or your shoulder on that bar. But in the bucket, actually, I should be a two thumbs up if I could give it to you, the two thumbs up. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that is to do again. Maybe not quite safe for children, but uh, I'm a country girl. I'm a farm girl. That was a OK. Anyway, so now that Derek was able to open that gate for me which I did not videotape I'm sorry it was a two-hand job and because uh, I want to go in there and scrub the uh, their water stock tank so that's done Paisley's is done the Izzy's was done last week um, I need to do cinder and Hemi's but uh, that one was just done a couple weeks ago so I can hold off so I do try to do them every couple of weeks all depending on the weather um, but with that heat the algae was just anyway it is what it is so those jobs are done super happy so that's a in two weeks from now job again maybe sooner so that's that so today I thought we would do what else I do on the farm those little things that I just come out and do morning and night and I don't really talk about it and don't really share it but uh, I thought this time that I would because I'm sure for if you see other farming videos like cows and stuff like that they do spray um, fly spray for them because yes they are outside so they are exposed to the mosquitoes those black flies deer flies and everything else so we do try and keep them as comfortable as possible um, any fly repellent is better than none right so i this is morning and night i do it and uh, especially now because it's been raining for the last couple of days so as soon as it's done raining yes the flies all come back out at least while it's raining they get a break from it they're much and they're cooled off and it's great so then i go and give them a nice brush and then i apply the fly spray so there are different kinds um do they work 100 percent no they do not um do they help yes yes they do and there are expensive kinds there's the cheaper kinds um there's you know there's just numerous stuff out there i'm gonna just find a little area there i can set these down so the ones that work the best in my opinion just in my opinion because i'm not uh, promoting anything i'm not a, no one is sponsoring me this is all just my personal opinion what I've used over the years so the stuff that I find works the best is anything with that perithium or perithium 
I don't know if there's someone out there that knows exactly how to pronounce it. Parithium, parithium. Anyways, it's one of the ingredients in the fly spray. So anything even for yourself when you're out in the bush, um, it is a tick repellent and killer. So it's not just repelling, it's getting rid of them. So for me with the horses, I want them to stay as safe as possible. So anyway, so what I do is I do the good stuff when the flies are really bad and then the cheaper stuff in between just as a just uh, just adding to the bonus so this one here that bronco one it is cheaper it is very much affordable that's the one i put in between just because it's not i mean it, it's good but it's not great and then so this one here is that extend shield that one is definitely better i do enjoy that one it is more expensive but uh it's actually better so where's my good stuff i didn't take that one out i don't know why but i should have a bottle here in the tack room out here bear with me i do all right yes tack room the ultra shield so in our area this stuff here is in my opinion the best stuff I'm sure there's better, I just have not tried it yet. So if you know of a good horse fly repellent that is better than what I have, and if I have to order it online, please leave a comment, leave me the stuff that, uh, the stuff that you use, and I wanna try it, because like it says, fly season is horrible, even though it's only a couple months for us, but it's like they're hungry and they come with a vengeance. So anyway, so anything to keep the horse really comfortable, that is what I'm doing. So we're going to do paisley first because paisley is used to me. I don't have to put a halter on or anything. She's just used to me to just spray, 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 especially those ankles. Oh my goodness. Do they love those ankles? Right behind you, paisley. Thank you, girl. Get that. There you go. Help you. The belly. Ankles again, neck. Right on. All right, so someone was rolling in the mud. So let me get. So obviously she's rolling because she's itchy. The flies, especially the blonde ones, the palomino ones, like they just love them more than the other horses or I should say the other colors. So there's something about them being that color, but I probably should have brushed you first. I really should have, because look at you, you are a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess. Oh dear, let me switch hands. This will make you better. No help things, yep. I will come back. I will come back. Hey, that's my phone. No, no, that's my phone. She was going to grab my phone. It wouldn't be the first time. So now with Hemi, I probably should be getting a halter because she's having issues with the spray as you can see she's already reactive good girl no good no okay so she's already not happy about it but i want this to be a happy happy see just a little bit at a time because i don't want to have to get her halter every time i want this to be pleasant relaxing refreshing good girl Good Hemi. Yeah, see? Good girl. Especially, see? Good girl. Good. Yeah. So I'm not going to push it. Because like I said, it's all about being positive, positive. So now she is going away from the pressure because she's like, nope, I want no part of it. I want to be with you. But I don't like this. 
but I was able to get some on her and it was positive. So I'm definitely gonna keep with that. Do you want more? So this time I'm not gonna spray her. I'm just gonna let her smell it. There you go. Just Cause then it's a happy thing. It's not a punishment. It's not a, a negative thing. It's, yeah, good job, Hemi. See, I'm gonna put it right there. See, it's right there. See, and you can smell my hands. Smell my hands. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. All right. See, this way. Now, I'm not going to have any spray on it. I'm just going to give her a little scratch. Scratches always feel good. All right. So, that was very positive. I will come back and do a little bit more later. It is what it is. All right. So, they're done. Paisley's done. Now, I'm going to walk up to do the Izzy's. Morning and night. Especially after a rain. Especially. It is what it is. The joys of having a farm. Do I enjoy it? Yes. Is it exhausting? Yep. Is it rewarding? Absolutely. All right, so now. Busy. Yep. Because I've had them long enough that they know. Do I need to get halters? Or you're, you're just checking out what dad's doing? Can you see? Look what daddy's doing. Fixing fences. Imagine that. Imagine that. Here, let me get you, let me get your ankles. No? Are you sure? It'll make you feel better. It really will. Well, wasn't that just a beautiful try? Huh. When we take her out riding and she's like, no, I can't try it. Don't believe her. She's tricky. They're leaning over to get the grass. They're all broken. They're all broken. Yeah, every huh. post here is broken. Every post, yeah. huh? Well, I ain't got time to fix it. So we're just gonna temporary. Patch quick, together. quick patch. Horses. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Should we do anything on this side? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Huh. You two. You two are the guilty ones. Yes, you are. They don't care. They're like, we're going to break it again. Do you want me to hold anything? Nope. All right, well, I'll let you finish that. Yeah, I'm gonna move around and go down and do all those ones down there. Did you want me to come help you? If you want to, yeah. If I want to. Yeah, okay. All right, well, so we got quite a bit done today. We're gonna go fix some fences, because that's what we do, fix fences. Right, Paisley? We fix fences. Every day, every weekend. Oh. Tractor's coming. Well, I guess I better wait. All right, then this way you can hear me properly. Yes, Katie. She comes back to me as the tractor's gone. All right, perfect. So I think that's gonna be a wrap for today. Um, need a shower. I need to get in the house. So it was a good day, good farm day. So hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully it helped anyone out out there. And it says, if you have better stuff, please let me know. I will definitely try it. I want to try it. So anyway, so that is it for today. As usual, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support and we will catch you on the next one.